Cool. So one of the things with um, stack uh, column backgrounds um, is that you're, you're creating these wow moments down the page. Uh, and one thing you might have noticed with the inspiration gallery is that it's quite full on because every stack is kind of a big um, kind of wow moment. But uh, as people are scrolling down, you need to make sure that there's those rest moments in there. So um, don't underestimate just sort of um, simple regular stacks um, with plenty of spacing to alternate between um, those kind of more picture heavy stacks. Uh, and one thing we've been finding as well is the importance of having, um, I guess, shades of pastel colors to alternate white. Um, so if I jump into say this one here, so I'm just gonna change. So this is just a two column stack. Uh, so if I click on the color wheel here, and I make this go full width here. So obviously this looks terrible right now. Um, so I want to put some decent spacing on here. And now if I go column settings and go over to the other column over here, which is currently empty, I can jump in here and grab an image. So I've got a column background here um, that goes right to the edge of the window and I've got nice spacing all around that. Um, so the, the cool thing here is that you've got that, that sort of pastel change. And so again, if we did essentially the same look here, um, add a different column background image on the other side. And again, adjust the, the width. And so you've got this look here, which is just quite cramped and the text is just too close to the edges and just doesn't have that kind of expansive spacious look um, that this one has. So again, just increasing that spacing and you create more of that kind of square um, shape. So the issue with this one is that there's there's just a bit much text in there. So the other thing with these um, kind of big um, spacious looks is um, they're, they're looks for the wow, not for packing in lots of text. So um, if you if you want to have um, you know good chunks of text to tell a story or to you know boost your SEO. That's where, again, just kind of peppering those more traditional stacks um, through the design, um, you know, your kind of three column text stacks, etc. cetera. Um, so this one here would probably look better if we actually dial back the amount of text a little bit. So yeah, you can essentially play around with that spacing to adjust the height and shape of the um, the boxes. So one thing to note with uh, column picture backgrounds is that the the picture is essentially positioned in the middle of the box. Um, so uh, there's no um, sort of pin to corner or repositioning controls. Uh, so um, it works particularly well with sort of wide shots and um, uh, like distant shots and stuff where, you know, if you sacrifice a bit of the image around the edges, it's, um, it still works. And because the other thing as well is that if you adjust, um, you know, the width of this, it's responsive as well. So you kind of need um, images that aren't going to chop a face off of, you know, the crop points adjusting at different step sizes.